Welcome to part three of this video series on chapter four. Uh, I have just created a new user using the add user command, which is the approved way of doing this. You could do all of this um, with a selection of old, uh, with a series of older commands, um, user add, um, group add, user mod dash a g to add the user to the group. You could do mkidr, mkdir to make the user's home directory. Um, you could use your copy command to pop to move every uh, move, move the things that are in at scale into that new user directory that you've created. You can use the password command to create the user account. You could even use the password command to do things like uh, create the account in sort of a locked state. Say, for example, you want to create the users, but you don't want to unlock them yet. You can do that um, with uh, password. Uh, because password really has a the password command has a lot to do with how authentication works on your system. Um, I did this so I could also do the uh, show you some things with the account command. So uh, let's talk about the account command. Okay, so um, what I did on my Debian box was apt get install acct, or you could also do ps acct. Um, if you want to look at your total connect time, you can use the AC command. Um, you can look at uh, the last command the user wrote, the, the user ran with lastcom. So let me demonstrate this. Uh, let me do um, acle uh, sudo ac dash dash p. Okay, only root and only root and I and I have logged in. Um, I have these other accounts. Let's do actually tail So I can see the J random account and the JRH account uh, What if I if I wanted to see if a specific user had um, Logged in um, Let's see let me do su the ac command. Um, okay, so that doesn't work. Um, looks like uh, okay, okay. It's and it's logging everything into wtemp um, inside var log. Good to know. Um, Okay, JRH has not logged in. JRandom has not logged in. Phoenix has never logged in. Okay. So Ruth has been busy. Okay, and this is what I've been doing. Um, I see a bunch of bash sessions. Um, I see the things I've been doing, uh, clear, tail, AC, uh, last com, etc. Now, so the last thing we can do is um, access management using the um, identification uh, and access management uh, package, IDAM. You're going to need to install Java um, uh, and Python and the WSO IDAM server, and then you'll get yourself a little web page like this. Um, there's actually a lot of software. Um, in the world of Linux and Unix that does things this way now. Uh, rather than uh, create um, a GUI, uh, they create, shall we say, a web application designed to be run strictly locally. Um, if you remember uh, using CUPS, um, CUPS of course uses a different port number. Um, and the reason you need Java is, notice that, uh, that file name here. A login.jsp. That's Java server pages. Um, 
So it's a Java-based application. Um, it might have some of its stuff running using Python. Let's see, what else is there? Um, so, um, let's see. So, uh, there's that. Um, there's a lot more here. That, that there, there's more in the chapter than what I've covered, so make sure you read it. Um, if you want to play with this some of, uh, some of this stuff by yourself, go for it. Um, you know, actually, before I before I uh, call it it uh, before I call this, let me actually pop over to another console. Uh, what I did was I did um, Control Alt. I think I hit F five. Um, it's actually going to move me other over to another um, terminal session, and I'm going to try to log in as one of my other users and see what happens. Let me. I'm going to want. I want to leave myself a bit of a trail. Okay, here we go. So I've logged in. It's thinking a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Um, uh, so I'm logged in as this new user I've created. Um, so here's what I've got. Uh, I've got what is practically an empty directory. Uh, now, if you if all you do is user add, if the use all this is all you'll get. Um, notice that there's no documents directory, no downloads, nothing relevant to uh, a desktop um, login. In order to, for that to happen, I have to do one more thing. I actually have to log in at a graphical console, either here or at my existing session. Um, but I'm, I'm not really going to worry about that right now. What I want to do is pop back over to me, which I think is 2. There, yes, uh, T2I2. Um, hold on, come back. And wouldn't you know, it kicked me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the W command. Uh, the W command will show me who's logged in and where. I can see myself logged in at TTY2. I can see Phoenix logged in at TTY5. I can even see kind of what they're doing. Um, so, um, so let's do let's do um, AC-P again. And okay, so I have I see. Um, five days worth of uh, login time, uh, some of it, uh, a lot of idle time. I've logged in, I, I've been logged in since Wednesday the 16th. Uh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I've been in and out of the system for a long time. So anyway, so um, you can actually see this. Um, So that's my home directory now. Notice all the other stuff that, that GNOME create uh, that GNOME generates. Um, this okay, the X authority command does not exist. What I'll have to do, uh, do, 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 do okay. What I'll actually have to do is close this session and log in using uh, my primary terminal. Um, so I'll do that just right click. Okay, so it worked. I just had to give it some time. Um, so this is V. This is uh, Phoenix. Uh, as you, as you can see, it is truly standard. Um, I have made no changes to it at all because I usually. Uh, take out things like um, Rhythm Box and the software store uh, because usually it's simpler for me to do things with apt get and apt cache than try to find them and install them using the app store. So let's 
I'll, just a minute, and I will look. We'll look at what has changed in the structure of, um, or the contents of this user's home directory. Um, now that I've actually started an accession under this user's name. So that was taking too long. Um, I think running this VM with two accessions at the same time was really bogging things down. So as you can see, there's quite a lot now, quite a, quite a lot now that I've added. Um, I've logged in with this user as um, into an X session. It's even created um, an X authority uh, file for me. I've got my dot profile, my dot cache, my dot config, my dot SSH, etc. Um, so there's a there's a there's a significant um, logistical difference, shall we say, between a text only uh, login and um, a graphical login. Um, I'm going to exit from this completely because I want to go back to my other terminal. Uh, let's see. Um, and let me do, let's see, um, AC. Yeah. So, I believe this is in hours. Um, let me do right click. There has to be a, a human readable, re readable way to do this. Okay, dash help is um, okay. Is actually dash uh, H in this case is help. Um, so it reads your uh, var log WTMP file and then um, displays the values. So dash D will give you a daily total, dash P will give you individual totals, or so you can think of dash A as daily, uh, sorry, dash D as daily, dash P as people, dash A is everything. Um, oh, there we go. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and if you haven't already done it, go ahead and watch the demo videos for Module uh, 4, Chapter 4. Thanks. Bye.